I think that's Peter and Andrew. Could be James and John, though. They just caught a fish. Throw them in the bottom of the boat, just like I did when I went out fishing with them a while ago. There's another two fish, three fish. Very cool to see. First thing in the morning here on the Sea of Galilee. We have peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us entrust to the Lord all who journey in pilgrimage. Arriving at Zapori, Sepphoris, the hometown of Joachim and Anna. It was Zapori, the important Galilee town known then as Ornament of All Galilee. The Sepphoris site. Hebrew Zapori, English it's Sepphoris. Soldiers of the Roman Imperial Army which ruled the country and caravans of merchants rode past the olive trees and plantations of Zapori. It says that they could not have children and they were ostracized. They were even told to stay away from the temple because God had not blessed them with children. They must have sin in their life. They must be something wrong with them. So you should stay out of the, out of the temple. And they were so distressed by this that uh, Joachim went out into the deserts and he started to pray. And he said, I'm not going back home until you answer my prayers. Anna was in the garden also praying and she saw the birds laying nests, uh, making nests and laying eggs in the trees above her while she was praying. And she says, Lord, why do the birds get to have babies and I can't? I Carob. Carob. The reason I gave to the ladies is because this is actually a the size of the carrot diamond right there. Okay. So you could keep that. He's serious. I'm not, ki I'm not kidding you. Uh, this is the weight of the carrot diamond, exactly. This road here in Sepphoris is over 2,000 years old. We're still walking on it. These stones had to be shaped. It's very likely that Jesus and Joseph, they worked here. It's quite, uh, quite certain. And these stones could have very well been shaped and carried by Jesus and Joseph. That, the very ones that we're looking at right here. Just got off the bus here outside of Sepphoris. Our goal and destination is right there. That's the ruins of the Church of St. Anne, the home place of Joachim and Anna, where we're going to have Mass outdoors. This is the original apse of the Crusader Church, which they built over the earlier churches, which were built over the house of Joachim and Anna. And this is where we're having mass, and the weather is just beautiful.
assembly line going here. Janet and I are handing out the plates and the trays and the silverware. We're getting our food here, the entree here, and going out there to sit. Here we are at the uh, Maguito. And once you get your food, you come out here on the patio and have lunch. Look at that. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Good lunch. Hi. And the rest of them are eating out here on the patio. Beautiful day. Talk to you about Israel being like the land bridge between the big civilizations. But in order to control all of the caravans, I'll let him explain how it works, but the Israel was like a big freeway, the Via Maris by the way by the sea. And if you were gonna bring anything from Egypt all the way to Persia, every, everybody had to go through Israel like a highway. So whoever owned this road of called Israel had all the tax booths. That's why there were so many wars here because everybody wants to own the bridge. The land bridge between all the big civilizations. You own that bridge and you get to all the caravans coming through. You get the money from them all. <clears throat> so it says Solomon. Now this is the account of the forced labor which Solomon levied to build the house of the Lord. And his own house. And the citadel. The wall of Jerusalem. And to build up Hatzor, Megiddo, and Gezer. Up north further is Hatzor. Big fortified city. Then there's... Megiddo here, as you can see, look, if anybody's coming through there, you got to pay the tax to this whoever has this city. And the next one is south called Gezer. You want to see it, watch our movie on D King David. Well, in a sense, Israel today controls the oil of all the Gulf countries. Because you know, Israel produces uh, high-tech uh, products that are used in 50% uh, of the world uh, you know, computer systems today. So, in a sense, we are in control, uh, to say the least. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the answer to why are people fighting is just like uh, Steve just said. For you to cross from Mesopotamia, <clears throat> that was the empire at the time, to Egypt, the other empire at the time, the only bridge is this land. So we are coming in from the Jezreel Valley, and these are the gates of Solomon. Look at this, in Megiddo. They were rooms, actually. And so we're coming in. I'm going to go to wide angle here a little more. And this is the entrance. And the gate was not just like a, a door, but it was these rooms where you had security and soldiers. And you had to go through three of these walls before you actually got out into the city. The Pontius Pilate stone right there. Pontius Pilate was proves the government really existed. Of it was used Judea. as a step and flipped over, this and he discovered this in 1965. Good evidence, archaeological evidence, that our stories are not made up stories, that there was a man called Pontius Pilate under whom Jesus was condemned to death. And I'm not trying to defend the man. I think he did that against his own... Tiberium Pilatus explaining Caesarea Maritime. So a little bit of a bay, like a natural bay, and they have settled here, known to us from the 3rd century before Christ as Stratham's Tower. That was the name of this location. It wasn't Caesarea. It was a group of Phoenicians from the that had settled the place. This is a foot of a statue of Caesar, and this is our Lord with a lamb over his shoulder, the Good Shepherd. Herod built this huge theater here on the shoreline, and this is looking across all of ancient Caesarea. The Mediterranean Sea. The ancient city of Caesarea Maritime was the 
gem of the Mediterranean. Paul says, I appeal unto Caesar, Acts 25. 58 AD, the Apostle Paul, accused of starting a riot, sent here to be tried by the governor. He was two years in prison and says, this hall may well be the hearing place mentioned in the book of Acts, in the Acts of the Apostles right here on the waterfront. It all began with a dream. The year is 22 BC. Herod the Great, king of Judea, who was crowned in Rome, is keen to strengthen the commercial ties between the Roman Empire and his kingdom. This is our second tour. The first tour that we sponsored was in 2017. Our company was 25 years old. And our um, we live the gospel. Our mission statement is let nothing be wasted. And I'm gonna share that story on how Sue and I Rep the corporate world. As I, I was an executive with PepsiCo, uh, responsible for Pete's Huts in Asia, and then eventually around the world from a technical standpoint. But then got a call from Jesus to give back right. um, to, to serve Mary. Him and Mary. Yeah, we're we're a Marian company. We're, we we work with secular companies, but in a sense we're a Marian. I had gotten a call to leave the corporate world and do something. Uh, to give back to the community. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. We arrive back at the Ron Beach Hotel with a little downtime to regroup before we head out to the Magdalena restaurant, one of the nicest restaurants outside of Tiberias. Can't we wait. had some time to regroup and now we're loading back up from the hotel to the bus to head to Magdalena restaurant. We do with Holy Land part one, we come to the Magdalena restaurant. And here's everybody getting off the bus and coming in. And here's where we're gonna eat at this beautiful place. Nice fish tank here. And like I show all the time, wonderful. Here's hey, Zuzu. How are you, How are you Zuzu? There's the chef Good right to there. See you. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. Welcome. One of the best wine selections in Israel right here. And there it says Magdalena. Beautiful place. Hello, everybody. Hello. Greetings. They're already getting things ready for us. And look at this beautiful area. This is where our group is all going to eat, right in here. They're already setting the salads up. Uh, How are you? And these are only the appetizers. Zuzu, who is our Christian chef and the best in Israel, is an artist with food. But wait till you see the main courses. There's the lamb chops, the best anywhere. Hey. On our way back home, we turned the bus into a comedy club. Great day, looking forward to showing you tomorrow.